Mitch, why don't we begin with the latest on North Carolina Senator's race? Well, if you look at the latest poll, it's as close as it could possibly get. Our organization, the John Locke Foundation, put out its latest Civitas poll this week. And if you looked at it, 42.3 percent of the likely general election voters support Democrat Sherry Beasley. 42.3 percent support Republican Ted Budd. Can't get any closer than that. Budd had had a lead of four or five points in the last poll, so it has tightened since then. We also see, since our poll includes the third party candidates, the Libertarian and the Green Party candidate, they get almost three percent among them, which is more uh, uh, evidence of why Democratic national lawyer Mark Elias and some national and state Democratic groups we're interested in trying to keep the Green Party off the ballot because a lot of people think that Greens would otherwise vote for Democrats. And that percentage or close to a percentage point they could get would be uh, something that could be a margin of victory in a very close race. This also fits in with something else that we saw in that poll, and that is a tightening generally. If you look at the generic ballot, the last time around, the Civitas poll gave double-digit leads to Republicans in both the congressional and legislative ballots. Those have now tightened. Five-point gap between Republicans and Democrats on the legislative side with Republicans in the lead. A three-point gap on the congressional side. Things are tightening up. Other interesting things from this poll that show just how divided we are, if you look at some classic American institutions, the Supreme Court and the FBI, depending on what party you're in, you either trust them or you don't. It's just another sign that everything is getting divided and nowhere is this clearer than 42.3% for both major party Senate candidates.